Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duels. So you're probably wondering what the title is. Now, I'm this title. This title is named before this video goes up, so <laughs> you, can, you can clearly see the title. Yeah. So uh, it has to. It has nothing to do with the duels. I mean, I might mess up, but it has nothing to do with the duels, and more what it has to do with the story uh, that I'll be talking about. So. Uh, of course, we're going to be dueling with Burning Abyss, that's a given. Burning Abyss are still the tits, like, some people say they're not the best deck, some people say that they are. I I would say I'm in the boat that they are, you know, they're they're consistent. They have a loop, they can utilize cards like Karma Cut and Phoenix Moonblast. I'm seeing a ton of people's ban list predictions where they're like, hit Phoenix Moonblast, Blast. And they're just like, why would you hit Phoenix Moonblast Blast when it's Burning Abyss that are making the deck, the card stupid? Like, if you hit Burning Abyss and make Burning Abyss not played, or not playable anymore, then Phoenix Moon Blast just would go back to the card. And it's inherently a neg one. You know, you play it, you discard a card, you target one of your opponent's cards and put it on top of the deck. So you actually play two cards, get rid of one card. Now, of course, your opponent draws into that card, which is, uh, you know, of course, not terrible. But, uh, you know, you I take that into uh, consideration. So we're going against Herps today. Herpity Derp Derps. So Herps versus Burning Abyss. So Harpies aren't terrible against Burning Abyss just because, you know, they can pop a lot of my freaking shit. You know? Uh, I'm thinking about Phoenix Moon, but, but he'll just get it again. So there's really no point in doing that. You know? I might as well just... Hysteric sign. All right. Well, just keep in mind that when you summon your harpy lady and you think that you're gonna pop your hysteric sign and get its effect during the end phase, you're not. So be careful with that. You gotta be careful with that. Select your target. Select one of my cards. Don't select sign. Don't select sign. Okay, I could I could do something else, but I'm cool with this right for right now. So of course we're gonna summon Skarm and then Skarm will go I'm here and then I'll go back. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But you know mathematician kinda halts the deck, but it also helps the deck as well. So I really can't say that mathematician shouldn't be ran in the deck because he helps with the definitely helps with the consistency of the deck, you know. I wouldn't even be able to do half the plays I'm doing right now if I didn't have, you know, the cards that I have. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and give me a graph. So I know you're going to draw into that harpy bitch next turn. Should go for a Dante. You want to doubt go for a Dante? No. So just summon tour guide, activate tour guide, unless you want to hit it with back row, in which case, I don't care. Yeah, I'm chill. Anyway, uh, let me get started with the with the whole story thing and why the video is called what it is, because you're probably wondering, like, what, what do you mean you messed up? Like, like you know, so, uh, I, I don't know where to begin. Well, I know where to begin. It It's literally a continuation of uh, yesterday's video, yesterday's video, so... Uh, right before going into a uh, calculus class. If you want to hit me with Mirror Force, I wouldn't care either. Deprison. I would kind of mind if you deprisoned my sir, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be too upset about it. You know, you want to deprison my mathematician. I'm a tool. I'm cool with that too. I think sir would be the worst, just because I, I would like to exceed with him. But nope, you're just gonna take it all. All right. All right, of course we'll go for Dante. Wonder if you're waiting for Dante. Is that what you're waiting for? Wow, totally thought you'd be waiting for like the XC of Dante. You know what? No, I'm gonna turn you into a Donard. Usually I wouldn't, but I will. Nice 27 attack, nice and powerful. Go ahead, I'm chill right now. I can't stop you with that hysteric sign. I absolutely can't stop you. So, 
If you, I know you're drawn into your Harpy Lady, bitch. I know when you summon her. Call of the Haunted. Do I want to vanity that? You know what? I do. I do, because you're just going to summon and pop my vanities anyway. So maybe I can get you to pop my vanities instead of popping your own sign with your uh, filth spell. That's what I'm hoping anyway. No, also, I just don't, I don't want you to have, you know, two harpies on the field so you can exceed into a lightning story. So, you just get that call and hunt it to fizzle. So, hopefully, that's what I'm promoting you to do. Uh -huh. I don't want you to pop this in search. I'd rather you pop this because you can't do much of this without this gone. So, no. I mean, you can do either or. You can pop this and, and wait a turn or you can, you know, leave it alone. No. You probably want to pop this because then this would go away. No, you just want to pop the vanities. Sure. You can have that, don't know what I'm mad at. Oh, that's what you want to do. Forgot you had an elegant egotist. <sighs> Alright, well, elegant egotist will summon a harpy lady. That, of course, will go off. You want to target my karma cut? If you come in my karma cut, I'm going to play it. Most definitely going to play it. Yeah. Also, I like how you didn't even go after sign. No, you want to go after sign. No, that's fine. You want to go after sign, then you're going to exceed into lightning story. I am going to karma cut you. So, at that point, that should be game. Unless you're back row, something to stop me. Burning this. <laughs> anyway, it's a continuation on from yesterday's video, going right into the calculus class. So, uh, I finished my women's studies uh, test early. So, I kind of just... When and I returned my book and I chilled next to the door talking to John, right? So, this is when a uh, showgirl comes in. I need your door. Do that. You're gonna target a set card and you're gonna be like, get rid of that karma cut. And I'll be like, chain? Get rid of you. Which, I, it was so obvious that you're gonna go into karma cut, it's not even funny, so you can just get the fuck out of my face. Sure, I would love to activate your effect. Sure, I would love to summon a scum from the deck. Yeah, it dies, and I'm gonna get the tour guys seriously in face. No. They wanted to hit Burning Abyss and like take down the deck. Hitting like Skarm and Tour Guide would be great, but I doubt it. Anyway, so she shows up and you know, we've been texting every single day. Ever since since the day I got her number, we've been texting every single day. Which is awesome, you know, because you know, I'm getting to know her and she's a cool girl, right? So all right, well, if you can survive this attack, you may be able to uh, do something, but the question is, can you survive this attack? That is the question. Oh, fire and light. Oh, you know, if something happens to these guys, I can always just go to her guide and, you know, fire like it up. I think that's it. Who do I want to detach? Does it matter? Oh, really? Yep, that's it. I beat Harpies. Alright, let's get another duel in. Bear back. Alright, we're back. More Burning Abyss. God, this deck is just so damn good. Definitely, 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 just the best. It's just the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna keep it down. Because it's the best. Around. When someone new. Xe right into you, Dante. Yep. I'm going to activate my effect. Detach Skarm. I will mill three. Because I want to get a Fire Lake in the grave. Nope, no Fire Lake. But I will activate Graph Effect. Who do I want? I don't care. <laughs> sure, I'll summon a Skarm. Why not? Set the Karma Cut. And my turn. This gun will go off. And just, just, just plus so hard. Just plus so hard. I plus so hard that my opponent doesn't even want to play me. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm seven. I start off with five. Now I'm seven. And that is the, the power of Burning Abyss. Night Beam. Sure. Ooh, heroes. All right. That should be interesting. Heroes. Oh, you just had to get the poly. 
gonna tell you right now, if you're using heroes and you're gonna poly, you're gonna run out of resources. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You're gonna have, you're not gonna have a good time if you're going against Burning Abyss. You need to keep her resources up, which is very difficult, especially with Fire Lake. Anyway, she shows up, and um, you know, I you know, ask her how was her finals. We start we start talking, and apparently, I have some competition that I didn't even know about. So you, uh, you're gonna hear about this. So this guy comes all the way from the other side of the fucking hallway to come and talk to her. I'm like. Hello? <laughs> so this guy is like super da thirsty. Super da thirsty. Alright, uh, heroes with a ton of back row, no surprise there. I'll go ahead and activate my uh, Dante effect, of course. I'm L3. There's my fire lake, that's all I wanted, my, my fire lake. Go to attack mode. Uh, and I will normal summon, sir. So one of the cards in his hand is Polly, unless he said it, which would be weird if he did. No, no, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, Dante, go ahead and attack. Response: You got a lot of back row, so I'm hoping that you got something. It's heroes, deep prison. All right, that's what I thought. That's cool. You got that. That's what I'm mad at. All right, you attack another deep prison? No, you're gonna take that one. All right, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Taking out, taking out my Dante was pretty smart. The only problem is that I can always go into another Dante. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that Dante should prob is probably going to get limited. Ah, just one. So you go off. Uh, bring me back. You. I said, if Dante hits the grave, I'm getting that fire lake immediately. So... I'll just leave it like that for now. Yeah, of course I activate Skarm Effect. I love Skarm's Effect. Hello? Yeah. You know, Burning Abyss, they're so strong. Yeah. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again. Again. You know? Burning Abyss, so strong. Too strong. Arguably. Anyway, he comes over and he's like, he's like, hi, Shellgirl, how are you? How are you today? Oh, you're looking so nice. You're looking so pretty. And on and on and on and on and on. Like, this fool was being extra fucking thirsty. Like, oh my god. Super pop? Ooh, you got that super poly, though. All right. It's got that super poly. Hell yeah, give me a fire light back. <laughs> he summoned a burning fist monster from my deck, right? Still, still, he had super poly. He even got the number, even gave him super poly. And I still don't give a shit. That is how ridiculous this duel is right now. Yes, I will activate Skarm Effect. Hello? I love activating Scum Effect. I love just plussing. <laughs> I love just winning. Do I want to rake up? No, I don't want you. I don't want you right now. Another Fire Lake. All right. Well, I can go into a fucking one card fucking Fire Lake right now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and summon you because I'm going to see you into Dante anyway. So, like I said, if Dante was limited to one, maybe you would, you know, not see Burning Abyss be as powerful. Because Dante is at motherfucking. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Yeah, I did. Unless I milled the particular Burning Abyss monster that I want to mill. No, I didn't. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I should have summoned uh, what's his face. Oh wait, I can still special summon you. Yeah, yeah, you. I didn't mess up. I messed up, but I didn't mess up. So we'll go ahead and just set that. All right. So what do you want to commit with your play, sir? Also, who did you search for Shadow Miss? I didn't even read who you searched with Shadow Miss. Blazeman. All right. No, that's cool. All 
Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna fire like you now. Before you can uh change. So you go off. Who do you want to summon? Dante. Dante, Dante, Dante. Dante, who do you want me to get back? And then you quit. Yep. Winning. Burning Abyss. We can get one more Dolan. Then I need to finish telling the story. All right. Bear back. All right. All right. You want to go first? I go first. You go first. All right. That's fine. Pot. Reveal your deck. Satellers. Satellers versus Burning Abyss. All right. This should be fun. It's gonna upstart me. What did he add? Unukula high? Yeah, he added Unukula high. Alright. You think one of them is a Nova? Well, one of them has to be a Nova. Summon so Unukula high, send an ab. Maybe with a little bit of Call of the Haunted. Maybe. Maybe, baby. You got a response? Summon Skarm. Uh, and we will normal summon you. I said, I really do wonder if one of those is Nova. Nuclear Hot plus Nova is a really great play, so. Of course, going in Dante. At least I know it's not honest in his hand, right? No. I was thinking about detaching uh, Graf so he could summon back, but may not be the wisest thing. Nova. There you go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Bring back Dante. Dante, grab me back. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, you Nova, and I'm still fine. Like, that's the craziness here. That's the craziness here. You, Nova, I'm still good. Like I said, Dante wants to get all up in that booty. Was the Burning Abyss monster I didn't activate? I didn't activate you. I said Burning Abyss are so damn strong. Go ahead and set that. Mm-hmm. You got that Altair? Yep. Altair, some Deneb, Deneb search, Deneb search, Deneb, Deneb search, Deneb search for Altair, Deneb, da 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 That's the only reason I don't like Burning Vids, because they just keep doing that. I mean, uh, Talonites, that's, uh, that's the play right there, that. Circling around, round and round, round and round, round and round, round and round. Castell, spin back my uh my Dante to the extra deck. I wouldn't mind that. I would love to have my Dante back in my extra deck. Yep, that's exactly what you're gonna do. All right, but then you can't attack my grass. So then I'm just gonna summon a burning the base, make a Dante. You can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, well, guess what? At least I don't have to worry about Nova, right? I said, I'm going to out-resource him before he out-resources me. So, oh, especially with this. Like, that's a given. That's a given right now. All right. Summon you. I hope you got some back row. Because I'm going to out-resource you. Ooh. All right. It's one of the few monsters that you can bottomless in this deck. Wasn't the right choice, though. Definitely not, but... I'll go ahead and go into Dante. I'll go ahead and mill a little bit. One, two, three. Oh, Fire Lakes. They're there. All right. We'll 
go ahead and henshin right into a Pleiades. Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Give me Fire Lake. Because I'm going to get a freaking tour guide in the end phase with, with Skarm. So. I'll just hold on to this BLS. I don't need it right now. I got Pleiades. I got Pleiades. I got BLS. I'm going to have the Fire Lake loop. Things are looking up for old Daniel here, huh? Altair, sure. Can't stop you with that. Oh, that's cool. Altair, summon the neb. The neb search. Yep, yep, yep. Eventually, you're gonna run out. So this is your last Altair, isn't it? Because you already went Altair. You already went Altair. No, now you're getting Vega. All right. And then now what? You're gonna XC into something, sir. XC into rebellion. Oh. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. Actually, I should have bounced you first. Because now your effect's resolved. Oops. Do I care? Not really. But, uh... Yeah. I kind of want you to kill my Pleiades, to tell you the truth. You said, no, I'm not going to attack. All right. Still gonna bounce you though. I was gonna not bounce you and let myself die, but then I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? No, I want you to die. I want you to get bounced. Give me that tour guide. No. <laughs> I want my draw. <laughs> oh, I almost fucked that up. Alright. Tour guide. Tour guide. Summon. Uh, who's the one that summons the Burning Best Monster from your graveyard? Nope, your deck, your deck. You, right? Yep. Alright. Summon you. I can see you right into Dante. Actually, I think I can end this duel. Or at least get close to it. Definitely three. One, two, three. Yes, I would like to activate Sir Effect. Actually, no, because I can't, I can't summon BLS. Uh, oops, I summoned the wrong Burning Abyss. I should have summoned the one that summons from the deck. Yep, I messed up. Damn, I'm really good at messing up, aren't I? You know, stinker. We'll just bring back Scum. Oh, never mind. I didn't mess up. I can't even do the play because fucking Pleiades is on the field. Pleiades is literally fucking me up. I could have ended the duel. I could have just summoned BLS. Oops. <laughs> ah, that's funny, huh? I'll go with Down Syndrome Edition. Oh, yeah. I'm messing up and I'm still doing okay. That's the funny thing. He needs to get more back row. He needs to get more back row because if he doesn't get more back row, you need you need to. You're gonna. It looks like you're gonna summon a. Oh, you must also already have the Altair in your hand, right? No, a Nukalai. You gonna go for Exiton? It's gonna send Sham. Actually, Exiton. I'm up on resources, so you might as well go for an Exiton. But then. Yeah, you're still going to be in trouble. I have a Dante. I'm definitely going to get that Fire Lake back. And then I'm not going to have anything. I'm going to go Tour Guide, Tour Guide, Summon, and go right to that play. So, yeah. I'm going right into the Fire Lake play next turn. So, that's a hard, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. It really is. XC in two. Scalibur. Okay. Definitely didn't see that coming. All right. He's going to bring down the hammer. Ouch. 
He brought it down. He was like, Slash Excalibur. Like, yeah, alright. Alright, well. I win. No, stop asking me that. No. It's, it's fucking annoying. Alright. I don't need to split these. And I don't need a lot of these burning abyss, so. Boop, boop. BLS is so strong. Get the fuck out of my face with your shitty self. Alright, so they lost can attack, but I can just dish out enough damage with this simple mathematician. So, that's it. That's the game. GG. GG, sir. GG. No. I, I ran out of freaking. What's his face? Guess I did. Because why not? Because <laughs> why not? Alright, that's game. Attack, attack, that's it. Burning Biss! Burning Biss! The top. The tippity top. Alright, let me finish my story because I, I, I need to finish the story. Anyway, this guy, he's super thirsty. He's all over her, smothering her. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell. You could tell that she's. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Alright. So. You know, so he pretty much interrupts me talking to her to, you know, become the center of her world. You know, like I was sitting there, I was sitting there, you know, I wasn't like, oh, oh, chill girl, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my God, you look so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm just chilling, you know, shit. I'm sitting and she's standing, you know, I'm playing it cool. I'm like, hi, how are you doing? You know, let's talk, you know, we've been texting all this time, you know, this is the first time I've seen you since we started texting. So it's good to see you again. But, you know, this guy, he's so so thirsty oh my god i i wanted to go and give this man a cup of water someone give this man a cup of water because he's fucking thirsty of he's dying of hydration over here he's thirsty for the pussy that he is literally dying of hydration hello so literally he becomes the center of the attention and she literally doesn't want to stay and talk to me anymore because he's there so she just walks off and of course he follows because you know hella hella fucking just oh my god you know so you know, we all take our seats and that teacher shows up late. So I didn't notice because I never really paid attention to her now until recently. But he sits right behind her. So she's like literally on her phone and he's just talking and talking and talking as if she's even listening, which she really isn't. But he's just talking and just like, okay, all right. So clearly he has no, no, no chance in the world. Anyway. Uh, for class, it was review day and review. She wanted to put us in groups, and uh, we were just going to go over and uh, practice over some material for the final. So, you know, I'm sitting here, John, because I was talking to John, and uh, she's like, all right, get in the group. So, you know, you know, we're in college, too. So we're not like, hey, hey, you're my best friend, Jimmy. You're my best friend, Susie. Let's get in the group. We're kind of like, uh, who's around me? You, you, you. All right, we're a group. There you go. You know, we're college students. So and who's on our group was uh, me. John, Shell Girl, because she's also near us in that row, and of course we can't have Shell Girl without Thirsty Guy. You know, you know we're just like, you know, we even we didn't even ask Shell Girl. We're like, hey, you know, me and John were like, all right, we're gonna pay. Hey, Thirsty Guy, I don't I don't know his name. Never got his name. But I'm like, I'm gonna call him Thirsty Guy. I'm like, hey, Thirsty Guy, you want to join a group? He's like, he's like, I don't care what group I join as long as I'm in the same group as Shell Girl. Like, Hleh! like nigga, are you not independent? You can, uh, you know. Can you go to sleep? Can you go home? Can you eat without show, girl? You know, you, you, you seem kind of like a creeper status, nigga. Like, do you have, like, fucking pictures of shell girl fucking hanging up in your wall? Like, I like, nigga. Like, mmm. <laughs> so, of course, you know, since you're all sitting together, she got lumped in with us because she was there, you know. And then another guy, I can't remember his name either. But he, he was just, we were a group of five. So, uh, we just time to turn our desk, so... Um, you know how you would sit a uh, group of five so it'd be two people sitting next to each other and two people across them and then one person at the head of the table right so john he was at the head of the table i, I didn't give a shit so then i was uh to the right of john then the guy that i can't remember not thirsty guy the guy's name i can't remember uh what is his name oh my god i can't remember his name right now he was to the right of me then across from me was thirsty guy and next to him was shell girl so i was sitting horizontal to shell girl so 
Shell Girl turned her desk to be next to Thirsty Guy, but wasn't like near him. Like the desks weren't like connected, right? So he's like, hey, why don't you scoot your desk over? You're kind of distant. She's like, no, thank you. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> like, she didn't even want to be sitting next to this guy. Like, hello? So, you know, we're during, we're doing our, our work. You know, she puts up some problems on the board. We all do the problem. We're supposed to work together as a group, but we really don't need to. You know, so we all do our own thing. So it's just like, you know, we do pro each of us do problem runs. Like, what did you get for problem one? Oh, I got nine halves. Like, I, nine halves, nine halves, nine halves. Like, all right, good. Next problem, you know. So we were working together, but not really working together. We were like working on our own, but confirming with each other. So if you could think of it like that. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, thirsty guy. He wants to, you know, show... Thirsty guy, he wants to show off, he wants to show, uh, you know, show girl that he is the man, you know, and try to impress her. But the problem is, is that he's much slower than her in math. Much slower. Like, by the time he's done with one, she's already, you know, done with one working on two. You know, but I'm faster than show girl. You know, I'm not as fast as John, because John is like the star student. But I'm faster than him. And John generally doesn't like to help people anyway. He, he's a tutor, so he doesn't, like, why am I saying, you know, I'm saying thirsty guy, but I'm saying, I'm saying John, but hey, fuck it, John didn't give a shit. You know. So, uh, uh, so uh, you know, John Tudor, so, you know, he generally has to help people anyway, so he wasn't willing to help. So, you know, I'm working on the work. So, you know, show girl's like, hey, I'm not getting this right, I'm not getting this problem. So, you know, I stand up and I walk all the way around to go and help her. I'm just like, you gotta do this, 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 and this. She's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Fucking thirsty guy, fucking staring daggers at me. Like, if stairs could kill, you would not be getting this YouTube video today, because that nigga would have killed me with his eyeballs. He was fucking lasering a fucking hole through my head with the way he was glaring at me. You know? <laughs> and I'm just like, what? I'm not, you know, I'm not thirsty like you. I'm not fucking, you know, dick riding like you. You know, you know, of course, I doesn't have a dick. I don't even know. You know, cunt humping, I don't know. I don't know the analogy, but, you know, you know, I'm, just, I'm cool with it, you know? She needs help. I'm gonna help her, you know, it's not like I'm just going straight to her and always helping her, you know, if other people in our group needed help, I'd help the guy next to me, I helped him a whole bunch, like a whole bunch, so much that I literally fell behind the rest of us because he was copying off my paper, you know, trying to understand what I did, so, you know, I wasn't just, you know, all about, it wasn't all about her, you know, if she needed help, I was totally willing to help, you know, I confirmed my answer with her, she was just a classmate, because, you know, there's no point in being super thirsty and being all over this girl because, you know, she's not the center of my world, you know, you know, if it doesn't work out, then whatever. I don't give a shit. But if it does, then hey, cool, you know. So I'm chill with it. Anyway, class progresses and uh, class ends, you know. Class ends and he's all over. He's like, hey, you're going to stay after class and talk? You're going to be like, you know, you're going to hang out, blah, 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 blah. So with that, once again, you know, she's so repelled from this guy that she literally just picks up her stuff and leaves. She doesn't say bye to me. She doesn't talk to me. She just leaves. I'm like... You scared her off. I'm like, hello? Like, you know, maybe I wanted to talk to her, you know? She's much more willing to talk to me than talk with you, sir. You know, but I, of course, I didn't say that to him. So, anyway. So, he stands up, and I think he's he's about to go and chase after her. So, you know, I'm thinking, like, you know what? Let me stop this right now. So, I stand up, and I go after him. And I stop him. So, allowing her to leave, because I have a feeling that he was going to chase her to the end of the earth. So, let me go ahead and just stop him. So, I go up to him, and I'm just like, huh. So, you really like Showgirl, don't you? And he's like, you can tell? Like, nigga, you are so thirsty for her. You act like she's the last woman on Earth. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can tell. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm like, you know, next class is the last class. What you gonna do? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to think and tell him not even to even tell her. I mean, I, you can tell and tell. She knows that he likes her, but she's not interested, so I say he shouldn't be wasting time. So I'm almost like, you know, you got you got a number? You text her? And he's like, no, she never gave me her number. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, uh, I got her number. Like, the second time I met her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, uh, you know, at least she's the kind of girl who's up front, you know? She's not interested. She's not going to give you your number. So, you know, at least I'm somewhere, at least I thought I was. Like I said, I'm getting, I'll am I'll get to the messed up, you know, part. Anyway, so I'm just like, all right, well, good luck, man. So I talked to him just long enough for her to escape his clutches. So, you know, uh, I get in the car and I text her, you know, because I usually text her. I text her and I'm just like, what was the name of that guy? What's the name of Thirsty Guy? Because I didn't know his name. So she texts me back and she's like, why? Like, damn, like, you know. Why do I want to know his name? Like, I can't just know the nigga's name. Like, you only want to give me his name. Like, damn. 
still don't know his name because he never told me. I'm just like, I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, I text him, I'm like, I don't know. He just seems that he really likes you, but he comes off a little clingy. And she was like, yeah, I know. He's like, I'm not interested. And it's just like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I can tell. You know, so, you know, uh, you know, she's just like, you know, she's just like, right now I feel weird. And I'm just like, I don't know what that means. You know, I don't want to be sexist or anything. I don't know what weird means. Like, are you feeling weird about the whole him situation? I feel weird about me. Are you feeling weird? biologically if you get what I mean or how are you feeling weird I don't understand so I'm just like I'm just like yeah I can I could feel like you're kind of off it today you know you know you know him plus me bothering you and you know, I kind of lumped myself in with him even though I really didn't do anything but I kind of felt like maybe to cushion a blow and make it not put all the blame on him I throw myself under the bus you know to try to cushion a blow so I was just like you know maybe me and him we were kind of off-putting it's like it's like um you know I didn't even get to uh um you know see the picture that you promised me, you know, I didn't get to hang out with you, you know, and then this is where she snaps, so, we, we were previously texting, uh, we were previously texting a couple days ago, and, uh, you know, she was preparing to go to her, you know, to celebrate her sister's big birthday bash, you know, and she went all out, apparently, by texting me, she said that she was doing her hair, her makeup, you know, she was, you know, doing her nails, she was going all out, so, of course, I want to see this, because generally in class, she doesn't present present herself as well as she could, you know. She could go out and be all girly girl, she could definitely, but she doesn't, you know. She, you know, puts her hair in a ponytail, has a sweater vest, and goes to class, you know. So, you know, any opportunity that I thought we get to see, to see her looking feminine, I thought it would be a great opportunity. So, you know, I asked, hey, you know, can you take a picture and go and show it to me? And she texts me, fine, you know. Uh, so she texts me, fine, right, you know. She wasn't really reluctant. She was just fine. All right, cool. So I was like, so I didn't even get to see the, the picture that she promised. She texts back and she just goes off on me. She was like, I didn't promise you no picture. You were f forcing me to do it, you know, you know, and I don't like that. And I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. I, it didn't, I didn't come across from, I didn't say, hey, bitch, you better fucking, it's, you know, show me that picture. I'm going to fucking cap that ass or I'm going to rape you or anything like that. I just said, hey, can you take a picture of yourself and show it to me? And she said, fine. How is that forcing you to do anything? Like, am I wrong here? Like, hello? Anyway, you know, I text her. I try to be the better person, so I apologize. Like, say, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come across, you know, forceful and force you to do anything, you know. But uh, if I did, then I'm sorry. She doesn't text me back. All right. All right, you know, maybe her phone died, maybe she just, I don't know. She doesn't text me back for the rest of the day. This is, this is Tuesday. All right, come Wednesday, you know, I'm like, all right, well, she didn't text me, so maybe she's still mad at me. I don't know, you know. So, I try to change the subject, so I knew that she had a final on Wednesday, so I texted her in the morning. Good luck on your final. Hey, what final are you taking anyway? Because I'm not completely sure, you know, start the conversation, you know, instead of just her texting back, thanks, maybe I can get, like, you know, to actually text me back. Whole Wednesday, not a text from her. And then keep in mind, this is the person, this is, Shell Girl texts me every single day since I've gotten her number. But, you know, just that whole picture thing, she blows up, she doesn't text me. For the rest of Tuesday, for the rest of Wednesday. So, what's up? Like, did I mess up? That's why I'm confused. That's what this video is called. Did I mess up? Because, well, of course, it was burning mist. Of course I messed up. But this deck is so good that I fucking, it just pops right back. It's just like, oh, 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 it's, there's a dent, you messed up, there's a dent in the Burning Abyss ball, and then, pop, just pops right back in form, so, but, you know, did I mess up? Did I mess up? I don't understand. I asked you to see a picture, you said fine, but then when I bring up the picture, you say that I forced you to do it. Like, I don't understand. Like, I didn't force you to do anything, you know? I didn't, I didn't. I didn't say, hey, bitch, you better fucking send me that picture. I didn't. I didn't. I just wanted to see you. Looking beautiful. I mean, you're a very pretty girl, but, you know, I've never seen you go all out. I've never seen you look feminine. I, you know, she, like I said, she comes to class, she puts her hair in a ponytail, she puts a sweater vest on, she doesn't put any makeup. So, for her to see her go all out, I wanted to see that. I thought I was going to be respectable, behold, all right? But, hey, so, um, you know, Thursday, you know, it's our last day. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to mention anything. I'm just going to chill. She walks by. I'm going to say hi. And she says hi, and she starts talking to me, then, you know, if the topic comes up, then sure. But I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not. And if she wants nothing to do with me ever again over something so trivial as this, then fine. We won't ever talk again. But I feel like 
I feel, I, I, like I said, I'll be the bigger man and I'll go ahead and apologize. I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but, you know, for with her combined with feeling weird, with her just blowing up, you know, I'm not sure, you know? But, you know, this is the last day of class, so, you know, if she still wants to be friends or even more than that, this is it. So, you know, you know I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to say hi. I'm going to say, hey, how you doing? If she says she just walks by and doesn't talk to me, all right. You know, it's not the first time that a girl has never spoke to me, so it's not like that's ever happened. But, you know, uh, if you want to still just talk, let's talk, all right? I'm thinking about going up to Thirsty Guy and just telling him because I feel like he's going to get in my way today. And I can't have him in my way today. This is my day. It has to be my day. This is, this is it. This is the big finale. So, yeah. So, you, uh, you'll hear about what happens tom in tomorrow's video. But, you know, I got to stop him. I definitely got to just tell him, like, dude, you should just stop. Like... She's bothered by you, and, you know, you might as well just, you know, just step away, man. You know, it might hurt him, but, but um, it's only for your own good, and he can just take it with a grain of salt, or he can just, you know, try to fight me. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go see her. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm in the wrong, but, you know, if I am, I don't know. You guys tell me, but... <sighs> so, phone's been kind of quiet lately. Nope. So, no text Tuesday, for the rest of Tuesday, no text Wednesday, no text early Thursday. So, I guess I'll go ahead and see her in class, you know. I'm, I'll, I finish before, the test before she does. So, you know, I'll probably wait for her. So we can just talk or chill after. So, like I said, if she wants nothing to do with me, then go ahead and be upfront with me. You know? But, you know, you don't have to ignore my existence. I, I didn't think I did anything wrong. Like I said, if there's something wrong and you're not feeling well, you can tell me, you know. You just be like, hey, Daniel, don't want to text, not in the mood. Hey, cool. But, you know, you shouldn't explode on me because, you know, you, you say that I forced you to show me a picture that I asked and you said fine. No. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you'll find out how this ends tomorrow. So, tomorrow, we're doing something different. Heroes are off. I'm tired of that deck. It's boring. It's linear. So, I'm going to do deck profile. And what deck we'll be replacing it is Choo Choo Trains. Yes, Trains. So, um, you know, Lunar has been working on some card arts for me. Hopefully, he's got them done. Uh, and we're just going to have fun with it, you know, we're going to have fun. Trains are been topping in OCG, so technically it can be on Daily Duels, because, you know, with Daily Duels, the deck that's topping, it's topping in OCG. We don't have the cards here in the TCG, but in the OCG it is. And in and, and TCG, I don't see it. I see Burning Abyss just stepping all over them, you know. It'd be like, you know, Filled Spell, Summon My Train, uh, Fire Lake, Blood Out, Blood Out, Blood Out, Blood Out, and they next so hard, you know. And there's not a, good, a lot of good rank 10, so I don't see... Now, maybe when I use trains, I'm, I might get to do it against someone using Burning Bits, and I'll see, but I, I just don't see it. I don't see it, but, you know, the LCG, they do have Shadows, they do have Queen Plate, and the deck still tops a little bit, so, interesting. Alright, anyway, this is a long video, so tell me, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Did I mess up? But, yeah. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed, so look forward to either the continuation or the finale of Shell Girl and her story and her arc. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow. Double Daily Duels, the Deck Profile for Heroes, and the uh, uh, Choo Choo Trains. No. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with that. Thanks for watching.